10 point Doppler 12 future cast. A hot weather pattern will be taking over and this one will be sticking around for quite a while. Let's take a look at what I'm tracking and the first item is the fact that a heat wave is possible. Now if you take my current forecast literally it doesn't quite make it to a heat wave but it gets close. Of course to get a heat wave you need three days in a row of 90 degrees or warmer and even if we don't reach this it will be quite hot over the next several days. We'll uh, break down that potential heat wave forecast in just a few minutes. In terms of rain, while well, we have a slight chance of that on the way tomorrow, most of Saturday will be completely rain free and then the heat sticks around as I mentioned not only throughout the weekend but much of next week as well. Humidity will also stay high which we'll also talk about in just a second. An air quality alert in effect for tomorrow, hence the yellow medium category on the threat tracker and we'll have to keep an eye on Sunday as well. Right now there is no air quality alert for this day but I would not be surprised if one is issued for the end of the weekend as well. What a beautiful night out there. Temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. Providence at 71 degrees. Fairly comfortable night for sleeping. Winds are out of the southwest at 6 miles an hour. Notice the humidity in Providence around 60%. It's a little bit higher at the south coast in Newport right now around 80%. So already a little muggy at the coast kind of setting the trend for the next couple of days. This is a look at dew points. These are not actual temperatures and right now we're in the upper 50s. That's not too bad, but it gets quite muggy tomorrow on into Sunday. We put you in the uncomfortable category and the humidity also stays high for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 not showing any precipitation. There is a little precipitation right now moving in from the west. You can see some sliding through the Berkshires of Massachusetts. Most of these will die away overnight. We'll pick up a few of the clouds. There is a front behind the showers that will trigger a few isolated showers tomorrow, but most of Saturday we get the sunshine and the rain free weather. You can see eight o'clock in the morning. I would not be surprised if a few clouds are hanging out and then throughout the early afternoon, a few clouds and some showers start to build towards the Rhode Island, Massachusetts border, say around the Pasco, Woonsocka area by four or five o'clock, even into six or seven p.m. The chance of some showers is still here. But again, if you get these, it would be very brief. You may pick up an isolated downpour from some thunderstorms, but after seven or eight p.m., the showers really die out as we kind of lose the heating of the day. So at the beach, because that front is coming in from the north, if these reach the coast at all, I think that we leave the entire daylight hours dry at the beach tomorrow. So a pretty nice day, very muggy, low 80s, a nice day to jump on in the water and inland tomorrow, very warm. Upper 80s, chance of those isolated thunderstorms after around 2 or 3 p.m. At the south coast, as I just mentioned, a little cooler with those breezes out of the southwest, 83 westerly, 83 Charlestown, Hope Valley around 87. And inland spots, I would not be surprised if a few locations like Johnson get to around 90 degrees, 87 in Foster, 88 in Burville with partly sunny skies. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures in the upper 80s, southeastern Rhode Island a little cooler in the low 80s with 82 in Middletown and 83 in Little Compton. In the seven day future cast, very warm. You could see where the potential heat wave could be. If we hit 90 tomorrow, it could be today or it could be tomorrow, Sunday into Monday. We could also get one here. So there's a, a few combinations that are possible for that heat wave. In terms of weather for outdoor events tomorrow, well, the Washington County Fair going on, 86 by noontime by 4 p.m. We're at 85 degrees. So even though we get those breezes from the southwest, I don't think they penetrate that far inland. So a warm day in Richmond and a warm day at the uh, St. Rocco's Feast for Sunday. I have 90 for a temperature in Providence and same will hold true in Johnston with a temperature around 90 at 3 p.m. So definitely bring a little water along with you. At least we don't have any rain outs for these events and then yeah, look at those temperatures, upper 80s holding strong through the beginning of next week. You know, people have been waiting for it to get hot. So. Yes. So like Here you go. What people? <laughs> huh? What people? <laughs> Me. This May, is, I just don't <laughs> picture you as a guy who likes the heat. Oh, I love the heat, love the beach. I just do not like shoveling. That's the only thing. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, there you go. Before you know it, we will be shoveling the snow. Yep. All, right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pete. There is much more to come on Eyewitness News at 10, the band that played at the station.